Hey, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to my kitchen. So it's the middle of the summer and you're tired of grilling chicken the same way you do it every single time. So I want to show you a simple technique and it's making a spice paste. Very simple to do. You can get creative with the ingredients. Today we're going to do a cinnamon thyme spice paste and then we're going to rub some chicken thighs and grill them. So let's get into making the paste. We've got not too many ingredients but a few here and this is coriander and that's the seed from the cilantro plant. Then we have fresh thyme leaves, some garlic, minced up, a teeny bit of cumin, and then cinnamon. Now you may not think of cinnamon with chicken but it's going to bring a very interesting flavor. So we'll put that cinnamon in there, a little bit of kosher salt, black pepper, and I make these spice pastes all the time, but I swap out the ingredients. So in order to make it paste-like, we'll take some pure olive oil and put that in there. And then you want to mix this together. Actually, we'll need a little more. And then this is going to be essentially a marinade for our chicken. You certainly could use this on other meats like fish or beef. Okay, so that's the consistency that you're looking for out of the paste. So that's done. Now, here I've got chicken thighs and I do like to grill chicken thighs because they stay moist as opposed to chicken breasts. So we'll pop them into this bigger bowl here and these are bone-in but skinless chicken thighs. And now we'll take our paste and dump it in there. And this is something you certainly could do ahead. And now you just want to move these chickens all around so they get coated in the spice paste here. Now I'm going to put these on a very hot grill. You could do this over charcoal or gas, it doesn't really matter. And because there's a bone in those chickens, they will need to cook for way longer than you would cook a chicken breast because there's a lot more fat in there so it takes longer to cook. Okay, our chicken is now ready to come off the grill. As you can see on my plate up here, very seasonal ingredients. I've got a roasted corn pudding and then we're going to top it with a really nice habanero peach glaze. So I'll go right in and grab these two pieces here. And they smell wonderful. Then we'll take some of this spicy peach jam, put a nice dollop of that right on top. And there's a great recipe. Try that today. Remember, make that nice flavorful paste and switch it up, put some great ingredients, and give that a try. HarvestEating.com, the only social network website on the internet dedicated to seasonal, local, and organic foods. View hundreds of recipe instruction videos hosted by Chef Keith Snow, a nationally recognized expert in seasonal cooking. All it takes is an email address to join now for free. We welcome you into the harvest eating community. Start living healthier today. Mm -hmm.